Thrips are small, slender insects that can be found on a variety of plants, including cannabis. They feed on the sap of plants by sucking it out with their piercing mouthparts. Thrips are often found on the undersides of leaves and can quickly infest a cannabis plant if left unchecked. Thrips are parasitic insects with flaxid bodies that are yellow, black, or brown in color and less than 3 mm long and the width of a pencil lead. Adults have a slender body and are frequently winged, though some species are wingless. They are distinguished by their bristle-fringed, feathery-looking wings and their biting-sucking mouth cone. Thrips use their modified mandible to sting plant tissue and inject their toxic saliva, which lyses the cell contents, before sucking it all up and swallowing it. The emptied cells fill with air, resulting in the appearance of tiny white or silvery spots. Thrips droppings, small, black, shiny deposits, are commonly found on damaged tissue. Thrips appreciate hot and dry environments. The length of the thrips life cycle varies depending on species and temperature. The warmer the climate is, the shorter the cycle will be. In most cases, the insect completes its life cycle in two or three weeks. Every year, several generations are born. Nitrogen overfertilization promotes thrips development and reproduction by increasing the nutritional value of the sap on which the insect feeds. Thrips thrive in water-stressed plants. Depending on the species, thrips, mostly only females, can overwinter in plant debris, under the bark of trees and shrubs, in the ground, they sometimes bury themselves up to 8 cm deep, or between scales stored bulbs. The wind is an important factor of dissemination. Thrips can also fly, jump, cling to gardeners' clothes and hair, or be dispersed via infested growing media and plants. Regularly eliminate weeds in the garden as they are host plants. Thrips do not develop when there is sufficient humidity. During the summer, the environment becomes dry. This is an ideal breeding ground for this pest. Regularly spraying the foliage of your plants may be enough to prevent invasions. Avoid excess nitrogen fertilizer causing rapid and luxuriant growth of vegetation which attracts sap-feeding insects, thrips, aphids, scale insects, etc. Use a urea-based, sustained nitrogen release formulation throughout the growing season. Maintain the vigor of the plants by watering them during periods of prolonged drought and by fertilizing them adequately. Prune and destroy the infested parts. A simple pressure jet of water will stun the thrips and knock them off the plants. The same jet of water added with soap will suffocate them. Repeat the operation after a few days until they have completely disappeared. To attract this insect, place yellow or blue sticky traps near sensitive plants. These traps can be purchased at garden centers, but they can also be made by dabbing a sticky substance, such as petroleum jelly, onto strips of yellow or blue cardboard. This is a list of some active ingredients that can be used to control thrips. Be sure to follow the application instructions provided on the packaging. Repeat the treatment by alternating with fungicides in different chemical groups.